Hi everyone, my name is Jana Thompson-Price and I'm an immigration lawyer with Atlantic Fusion Law Group. I wanted to do a short video today um, specifically targeted to international students. Um, I know that you're here and you're scared, you're separated from your family, and there's a lot of information um, that you might not be aware of. So I wanted to do this video and answer some more common questions. And I have been asked questions recently in the past few days, uh, specifically for international students. So I wanted to try to address the most common questions today. So the first question that's on most people's minds is, I'm here with a valid study permit, um, but I can't leave. I can't get back to my country um, because of travel restrictions. What does that mean for me? And so the good news is, um, as long as you have a valid study permit, you can stay in Canada. You don't have to leave. Um, and then once this, uh, the restrictions are raised or lifted, then you can just go about your studies and continue on. The important thing to note is, is that you still are expected to maintain valid status in Canada. So if you have a permit that's about to expire, you obviously need to um, extend that um, before it expires whether it's extending your study permit because you know you've got additional studies that are coming or a switch your status from student to visitor, or if you've completed your studies and you have confirmation that you've completed your studies, apply for a post-grad work permit. If your permit has already expired and you're still within the 90 days from the date of expiry, you can also apply to restore your status. So that I hope will alleviate some of your concerns. Um, but obviously it doesn't help that you're separated from your families, unfortunately. The next question I had is, um, can I go home? And so while I'm not aware of any restrictions um, on the Canadian law side um, from leaving, uh, there are possibly restrictions on can you even get home? So you'd have to look into that because some countries, uh, their borders are completely closed. And also airlines are extremely limited in terms of their flights right now. You also, uh, more importantly, need to be aware of restrictions to get back into Canada. And so right now, um, and great, the situation is very fluid and things are changing daily, but right now you cannot return to Canada with a work permit or study permit. Um, the government's saying you will be allowed to come, but to sit tight and wait for further instructions. And so if you go online, you can go to IRC's website and you can actually see there's a number of really helpful questions and answers on a number of situations. And so right now they're saying, if you're overseas and you have a valid work permit or study permit, or you were approved for a work permit or a study permit prior to um, March 18th, I believe, um, then you are going to be allowed to return, but not yet. They're gonna post additional instructions on when you can return. Um, other people were wondering if, is there any way for their family to come? during this time? And unfortunately, the answer is no. Um, only Canadian citizens, permanent residents, and immediate family members are allowed to return to Canada presently under this travel ban. So if you're here with a study permit, um, your family wouldn't be able to come to visit you, unfortunately. Another pressing question had to do with, um, you know, now that classes have been suspended, can I work additional hours? So pre-coronavirus, obviously the rule is with a valid study permit, you can only work 20 hours per week um, during regular class time or an unlimited number of hours during regularly scheduled academic breaks. So what does that mean now? You don't have classes, but this is not a regularly scheduled academic break. And so um, we reached out to IRCC for a clarification on this. Um, and actually via Twitter, they came back and responded. Uh, just with a blanket rule um, that you can only work additional hours during regularly scheduled academic breaks. So we're interpreting that to be um, this is not a regular break and so you cannot work the additional hours. Should that change, I will make sure that I put it on Twitter and on Facebook um, because I know some of you are quite desperate or want to work um, just to kind of fill your time right now and there are employers hiring people um, at grocery stores and whatnot. Another question, um, so normally, um, if you take a majority of your classes online, uh, you are not eligible for a postgraduate work permit. But because of this extraordinary situation, IRCC has said, um, if your university has switched classes to an online model directly because of the coronavirus outbreak, 
then you will still be eligible for a postgraduate work permit. So that's good news. Um, other questions. So um, in a nutshell, like I wanted to cover like the main questions, but I also wanted to let you know that I'm doing my best every day to stay on top of the news. Uh, I'm checking Twitter. I'm going on IRCC's website. So by all means, please like um, our firm Facebook page. I'm doing my best to keep that timely and post information. You can also follow us on Twitter. Um, and I'm also trying to share and retweet information as I learn of it. You should also like IRCC's Twitter feed and CBSA because they're doing um, a great job at trying to keep people up to date. Another big question that people had is, um, is IRCC still processing applications? And the answer is, at least as of today, yes, albeit at a reduced capacity. So they are still accepting online applications under for temporary residents, for extensions. They're still accepting applications for permanent residents. And in fact, as recently as Monday, they did an express entry draw. So that's good news. Um, so we are still available to help. Um, and the St. John office is obviously not open to the public, but um, we are still working remotely. We are available to help you with your applications. Uh, we're working, you know, we've got our office set up. <laughs> I've actually got my home office here. I'll try to show you. I've just got a makeshift desk. I borrowed one of my kids' desks. And I'm checking email and messages daily. So I am here to help. Uh, we have a Charlottetown office and my partner there, she's available to help for anyone in PEI. And we just need to get through this together. So hopefully it'll be over soon. But in the meantime, please listen to our government's instructions. Stay at home. Continue to wash your hands uh, very frequently and just stay safe. And hopefully this will be over soon. Thanks.